fake plant. You know why? Because today is Met Gala. Actually, it was yesterday. Do I have an intro? I've kind of forgotten. It's been so long. Hello. <laughs> Honestly, really, really excited to be back. As always, this is for jokes. This is for prankster. I'm wearing a jean that you have two but like you have six buttons. I don't know if you can see. I have six buttons. This shirt technically has two shirts in it. I like it like that. If you're asking for my credentials, I have none. Let's get going. I've managed to not get spoiled. My best friend um, gave me some names that she wanted me to review when she, you know her special mention will appear sometimes in the video. The theme. Carl Lagerfeld, a line of beauty. I'm just here for the jokes, not the political statements, because that would be way too long. <gasps> Rihanna! Does she have lashes on her? She has lashes on her um, sunglasses. As if Brokey has jeans under his skirt. You know what? I think that would be very easy for me to make fun of, so I will. Why does she look like a cauliflower? Um, I'm sure the flowers are supposed to be Chanel reminiscing. I would rather not remember. Cardi B! More flowers. Um, I feel like there are a lot of references that I'm just not getting. Jenna. The jewelry is obviously Chanel. I say obviously. <laughs> it's obviously Chanel. Yes, so far this is... The outfit that I would actually see Carl wearing. Now, I know that's not what the theme is about, but like, I'm sure Carl has worn this to some extent, you know. Pedro Pascal! Everyone's favorite daddy. So we have a long coat, red coat with black shorts, black shoes, black socks, black tie. Okay, here's the thing. As a daddy, like he killed it. We have, what's her name again? Gigi Hadid. <gasps> I'm ashamed. Don't tell anyone I said that. I really like when people are like, hey, I'm wearing shirtless stuff, but you can't see nothing. Cause I can't see anything. And I don't want to see anything that sounds creepy. Again, credentials zero. Remember, credentials zero. Kendall Jenner. So, she recently slayed with like the miniskirt and the boots that you know most people wear as a coat that outfit so i was expecting a lot i had a thing like that in high school and i know it's gonna sound like it's hate on kendall i actually don't think she's boring you know what big psa i actually don't think she's boring i think she's a good model again credentials zero but i had this fake collar that you could like tie on any shirt when i was 10. It was exactly the same glitter. It may be cheaper, I guess, if you want to be technical. But like, sorry, it just looks very cheap. There's a lot of money that was put into it, and you just look like that. Ay -ay 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 Kim Kardashian. Wasn't there a rumor that they wouldn't be invited? Uh, like that the Kardashians wouldn't be invited anymore? Because I wasn't expecting to see any of them at the Met, but whatever. Uh, Kim's look, the Thierry Mugler drip wet one, still probably best dressed, like top five ever, Met Gala, but that's, again, personal opinion. Schiaparelli. That's actually a house that I've been following for, like, years uh, before they got big, and I'm so happy that they're finally dressing, like, I think they dressed Adele for her residency in Vegas, and they collaborated with like Doja Cat. Anyways, now they're big and Kim Kardashian now, obviously. I actually like this look. I know. I'm not ashamed. I, I'm not ashamed. I love it. The pearls. Obviously, Kim is known for her figure, her curves. She's just reminding you why. Um, I do wish that the bustier around the waist was the same color of like the drapes. The, the bed sheets, really, that she's carrying around. <gasps> Guess who I just saw? I mean, it's on the screen for you, so you're cheating. I mean, okay, I need to go look at the dress 
from another angle. Ah, oh, yes. Ah. <laughs> I'm getting butterflies in places I did not think I could have butterflies. That's okay. The details of this dress. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're back with the, in my opinion, Chanel pearls, the gold, um, the, I think it's called the tweed, like the material where, you know, there's the coat and then the skirts. And then some TikTok girlies have been upcycling the set. Oh, zippers. Oh, that's her coat. Okay, makes sense. Why would you, I don't care much about the coat. You're hot. You're not going to get cold. So just throw that away. Jennifer Lopez and Ralph Lauren. Boring. Doja Cat. As a cat in Oscar de la Renta. Of course, they would say yes to that. I would say this is also one like top five most on theme this year. Uh, again, credentials, repeat after me. Zero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Lil Nas X. In Dior. Ooh, this eats. Okay, the back, very boring. Um, maybe it's just the pictures that I'm looking at, but it looks like his ankles aren't fully painted. And honestly, it's really bugging my Virgo self because I see like some little shades or whatever, but let's look past that. As always, he doesn't disappoint. He makes a statement. Kylie Jenner, pass. Marie Plaza, hmm. Smash. So, uh, it's giving very, like, it's giving Audrey Pepper, kind of, like, you know, Breakfast at Tiffany's and stuff. Okay, let's be honest. It's boring, but it's Aubrey. So, just bad bunny. Jacqueline! Okay. It looks like whipped cream. His train, or whatever you call it, whatever he's carrying. Other bed sheets. You know what? It's funny that Kim Kardashian was having the bed sheets because he's hooking up with Kendall Jenner, which is like she should have been the one wearing the bed sheets because they're in the bed together. <laughs> Again, credentials. Let's go. I actually like this look. I'm sure the flowers represent Chanel? Question mark. I'm just gonna go with it. For a guy, it's really hard, in my opinion, to wear a suit and to not be boring. And somehow, Jacquemus and Bad Bunny elevated a look that otherwise I would have been like, nah. Billy Eilish! Hey, this is another example of sheer, but not so sheer that we saw earlier. You know what? For a Met Gala, I'm gonna say pretty boring. Sorry, Billy. Olivia Rodrigo. I'm sure this joke has been made, but she looks like a curtain. The flower, the pearls, she's on theme, but give us something. Okay, Cara Delevingne. Delevingne. Sorry, I never know. Obviously, she's wearing Carl. Like a bird out of her way. That's all... I'm just wondering where her hands... Oh, she's raising her hand. Okay. She's making a statement. I like the idea of whatever you call... I guess they're shoes. Like the half leggings, half shoes, half boots. Not my cup of tea. Lizzo! Okay. It's really interesting to keep this idea that also that I saw... That we saw first with Kim Kardashian. Like the pearls kind of over because it's not really jewelry it's a full-on part of the outfit which i love controversial opinion i love the bangs like that it looks like a broom yes but it's a nice broom nicole kidman played it safe or chanel al fanning and vivian westwood next or national barbie margot robbie 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 uh, she's also wearing Chanel, played it safe. I just think she's beautiful, so whatever she's wearing would, like, turn out okay. Now, I have a personal ick with sheer nude fabric that, like, you can tell is neither sheer or nude. But Margot, you're busy. 
I'll let it slide. We have Dua Lipa and also Chanel. Okay, see, that's what I mean. Like this tweed, question mark, fabric. I'm torn because I think if she would have worn like pantsuits, I would have been like, uh, oh, boring. But now looking at the skirt, I wish she was wearing pantsuits. You know what I mean? Mm. M. Rata. I like, I see she has the similar bands as Lizzo, you know, little broom action. I actually don't like this look. It looks exactly like, well, not exactly, <laughs> drama queen. It looks like the top of the dress, you know, like my shirt. Two different pieces of just different outfits. I think this is ugly and I'd rather be boring than ugly. Like, write that down. I really admire people that can wear those types of corset, like the ones that do little horns, if that makes sense. It would hurt me like hell. The fringe inside. No. I thought we learned a lesson of like no more curtains on the red carpet. But every year there's someone that's like, I'll just do the cleaning for free and hope that next year I don't have to pay for my ticket. Like, no. The dress is not super well fitted, if I may. So this looks like a second choice. And I mean that with no love. Uh, Lily Collins, very, very French, very Chanel, Chanel, actually. I like the idea that the corset is like not tucked, if that makes sense. That's a silhouette I don't think I've ever seen. Michelle Yo. can she ever do anything wrong? No, probably one of my faves, actually. I like the layers. I like the details of the boutonniere. And sleeves again. Another bed sheet vibe. Uh, oh no! We have another one of my faves. As a person, Emily Blunt. Very old school, if I may. Emma Chamberlain! Uh, is it me or like does the makeup make her eyes pop even more than usual? Like she's looking straight into my soul. I'm not a fan of the deconstructed vibe. It's like half of the upcycling of the Chanel suits that I was talking about, but like this didn't get finished. Okay, Kiki Palmer. Another one bringing bed sheets. Did I miss a memo? Jared Leto. He is the captain of the nightmare of the darkness. He's the darkling, if any of you watch Shadow and Bones or read Shadow and Bones. Oh, he came as a, as Choupette. That does sound like him. Ooh, eh, young Miami. Absolutely. We're back with the sheer slash not sheer. Janelle Monet, which has always been kind of like on the carpet. Okay, I didn't know Thames attended the Met Gala. That's absolutely crazy in the best way um if you don't know her there's no way you don't know her her look she looks like a goddess like the goddess of nature yes mother viola davis and another guy did you see her in a new uh hunger games trailer i didn't know she was gonna play in it until i saw the trailer and i was like oh my god viola davis Am I diverting the topic from what she's wearing? <laughs> Absolutely. I love this little men power. I know I criticized the color earlier, but this is different. To me, this was executed better. As long, uh, you know, as well as the glitter, it doesn't look tacky because it's like there's like layers. There's levels to the glitter, you know? Ooh, Conan, Conan Gray. Absolutely. It's giving pirate. It's giving piracy. It's giving. Sorry, I'll stop. I love the fan, the details, all the the pearls. It's beautifully executed. I think the shoes are very, very, very well chosen as well. Also, that carpet is dirty. Jeremy Pope. Kizaz. Amanda Seyfried. Yes. So I guess this is what you would call burlesque, question mark? So I guess that's where all the, the pearls that Kim and Lizzo were wearing is coming from. 
Now I think I understand because Amanda made us all understand. Bella Ramsey. Let's see. I actually love their look. I think it's very interesting. Still, pants under a skirt or what looks like a skirt. Maybe it's just a long coat. I like the sleek lines of whatever is under the coat and right on the back of the shoes. Very sleek. The pearls. I'm assuming the lines are made out of pearls, which is another e another added detail, which makes me think that, you know, they respected the theme, whatever, whatever. We have Florence Pugh. Pugh. We're back to bed sheets. And... I'm gonna need to look closer to the headpiece that she's wearing. Ah, okay, so actually, that was one spoil that I couldn't, I guess, avoid. It was that Florence Pugh planned a quote-unquote surprise for the Met Gala, and the surprise was that she was gonna uh, start like a buzz cut. So she shaved her head for the gala. Well, I don't know if it was for the gala, but like she had a shaved head at the gala. People ruined the surprise by being like, oh my god, look at her wigs. Let the girl surprise the people. She obviously can rock it. Are we surprised? No. Okay, next. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, will love to dress. Ashley Park, Emily's best friend in Paris. Oh, the gloves. I forgot that Carl was wearing the gloves. That's why everyone is wearing them. Yeah, he wore those kind of like a uh, Madonna. Maluma baby. He looks like a priest that is about to perform a bar mitzvah. Vanessa Hudgens. I like this look. Again, the flowers in the middle, nothing special. Ava Max. Did she think this was a wedding? Phineas just has no more well to live. And he wants you to know that. He wants you to ask about it. Ashley Graham. Um, this made me think of the, the bad, the, the bad person in Little Mermaid. Ursula, Kristen Stewart, which has been an ambassador for Chanel quite a while ago, or is, is it still the case? Anyways, rocking the look, very, uh, I don't care, but this outfit is worth 30 million vibe. Anita! I'm sorry, I know this is the Met Gala and this is supposed to be like, well, not really kids friendly, but you know, less, whatever. Um, this is boring. The shoes, this is like the sixth or seventh person that has worn those shoes. What's so special about them? Hey, this is a look that I like. Daisy Edgar Jones. I don't know how the bows are done, but it looks cool. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. I like the padded on her shoulders. Looks like a, an armor almost. But still very feminine and glittery and fun. Jordan Roth and Schiaparelli. Slay. More like Slay Parelli. Slay Parelli. That was hard. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna cry. We have Mikaela Cole. Guess who she's wearing? Okay, yeah, okay, so here's the thing. The, um, the stars, the eyes, the eyelash is very on the, on the, on brand for the house. But also I like how it coincides with Chanel, like, you know, all the jewelry, all the... She looks absolutely stunning. Love the earrings that they chose to pair. Shoes, classic Schiaparelli. They also have like the finger and the hands one. Isn't it funny how much Robert and Kristen went for like the same style, like no makeup, kind of just woke up uh, hair. Interesting. I really like Suki's Waterhouse. Suki Waterhouse's dress, just not for the Met Gala. Okay. Sydney Sweeney in Mew Mew as well. She looks like a gift that's just ready to be open. I think her hair is out of this world. The bow, the hair bow with the dress bow, I would have done the same. Uh, interesting. I do wish there was like glitter on the end of the train, but maybe it was just easier and less heavy to wear. I'm gonna quickly talk about Quinta Brunson because if you haven't watched Abbott Elementary, what are you doing? 
She produced, directed, and stars in the show. I I know people say it's like The Office, but Black, it's so much better than The Office. I said what I said, and I don't regret it. Woo. Anyways. Now, I'm not going to talk about her outfit, but I'm going to talk about her show. Abba Elementary. Go watch. Hey, I was looking for Ice Spice because she has been invited, obviously she's there, to the Met Gala. Um, less than a year after, like, I guess her big breakthrough and before even her debut album. So classic hair, classic makeup. I guess, dare I say conservative? I'm going to say conservative. Interesting choice. Obviously, Anok, she always, whether it's the runway or big events, and also every Met Gala, she's, every Met Gala, I'm pretty sure she's in my top 10, if not top 20. So, I love this. The dress, it just makes me question gravity, fabric, and anything and everything that I know, or that I think I know about fashion. Absolutely. Like, the little dots at the bottom makes me think that she like partied with confettis and just like just got here. Olivia Wilde and Chloe. We're in Chloe. Yeah, I'm getting Egyptian vibes. I actually really like this look. The fabric looks good. But also I'm confused because isn't the middle kind of like a violin vibe? So here's the thing. The more I look at it, the more I, I hate it. So... Rita Ora, sheer but not sheer. We've been over that. Boring. I'm gonna stay in the sun just for a little bit because this just really made me all cold all over. No. I'm sorry. That's a no. Just, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a ne, ne, ne for me. Okay, now those are special requests from my best friend. <laughs> uh, I think the bucket hat makes the entire outfit and to rely on one accessory is risky. Still special request, we have Ben Platt, Chanel Tweed, um, yeah, I guess for a more masculine look. Was it the easy choice? Yes. Lastly, we have a cockroach. Ew, see, that's what I meant. Those stairs look nasty. This was an experience, as always. I love to criticize. That's it, that's the end of my sentence. That is it for me, kiddos. Kiddos. I've looked at over 200 looks. Let me know if I've forgotten any one that you either like really hated or really liked. I'm actually, as every year, looking forward to just you know, know what you think. This is all for jokes. Well, like, it's it's really what I think, but don't take me too seriously. I don't take myself too seriously, so. Let me know who you think was most in the theme, out of it, completely out of it. Is there someone I didn't review that you wish, you know, came in this video? Thanks so much for watching. I'm really sorry I haven't been on the red platform that much i just haven't been inspired to create longer content and the met gala i want it to like become a tradition so worst case i'll see you next year best case i'll see you sooner than a year okay don't be mad at me okay love you bye mm -hmm.